Hello, this is me Ali Reza. I'm a Google Ad, Facebook Ad, Hubbing Ad Certified Advertising Professional as well as an owner of a Google Partner Company, SEO Consultant. So we, we provide different solutions related to digital marketing. So today I'm here with an amazing, interesting video regarding uh, Google Ads which were disapproved for two reasons. Number one was malicious software, number second was compromised site. So with this we uh, got a client and you know the the uh, whole, uh, you know, account restoration, uh, I mean the ad uh, disapproved process took us a little longer than a month, you know, we usually get it done between 7 to 10, 10 days, but you know, it took us a little while, but I'm glad that we were able to get it resolved. I'm going to explain with you in a step by step on what were the circumstances, uh, what were the issues and how we got them sorted out and in case if you need such services regarding Google Ads, a disapproved for malicious software, unreliable claim. Uh, compromised site or shocking content or any other uh, reasons you know me and my team can help you all you have to do is to click on the link in the description to reach me and my team or even if you need management regarding google ads facebook ads or seo or web development services we can help you just click on the link in the description to reach with us and we are going to make sure to make you uh, to run an amazing uh, digital campaign for you so let's get started on the issue regarding google ads uh, which were disapproved for compromised site and malicious software so here is the you know the query so the client provided us with the url and you know they told us the issues you know that they were having on would we like to uh, get it resolved so that is how you know the client came to us and the client was actually running a clickbank you know in the back the uh, there was a clickbank product he was promoting on and uh, you know they asked us to get it resolved now you know whenever there is a new client to us we are you know very uh, concerned regarding the google ads account and we do not want our client account to get suspended which is why we run the ad on our account to make sure that uh, the ad does not get your account suspended we do this on that because you are paying to us and you know that matters a lot so which is why uh, we get it resolved first on our account so oh, let's get started on it so when we run the ad on our account and we got the same error and you know we discussed with the client and then you know there were the few changes which were suggested by my team and i'm going to show you as well those so like uh, as always it's always a team effort and you know my team did figure out the website you know uh, the error in the url of ads promotion you know the client had put a tracking url which we thought could be an error as well we suggested some changes on the website we also discussed about broker links social media links upgraded disclaimer you know when we provided those changes to the client and you know the client was very surprised like this wasn't I expecting you know and the client you know said to us that I see the recommendation while I understood, understand it now that hundreds if not thousands of people in this course related YouTube had I have participated haven't had the issue of their site being called compromise or malicious software they are all using similar uh, bridges, uh, bridge pages with only terms and privacy and I added additional disclaimers as well and I could add a contact email but I didn't have a Dedicated support number. There's an affiliate product promoting all testimony supports are available on the vendor page. As far as the uh, 404, I can make it so the outgoing links go to the vendor page. And you know, the client was supporting uh, supported as well. I can make it so the outgoing links always go to the vendor page. Currently, you know, they provided the link as well. And you know, they provided the link. And you know, the client additionally said to us that I'm going to make it uh, fonts because so you can read as well. There was also wondering if it can be an issue with my actual account itself. I did have my original one suspended a while back uh, while only having one search campaign at the time, but it shortly got uh, restated. I have three accounts with that email attack. But we, you know, we told the client that we are running on our account so that because we do not want your account to get suspended with the scenario as well. So <clears throat> when we did the research, when we figured out, you know, the uh, SOPs, we figure, fig, uh, figured out another interesting thing and that was the IP of the hosting company was also in the blacklist. We discussed with the client, you know, that was a very surprise move to us, but you know, we have a very checklist and, you know, when we discuss, oh, like this is a, uh, this IP of the hosting company, the blacklist and that can be an issue uh, regarding hosting account suspension. So, you know, we thought that this could be, you know, another reason. So, you know, we discussed with the client as well and the client was, you know, uh, uh, silent of this and, you know, we uh, discussed with the Google again as well and, you know, the Google said to us that, we discussed the uh, link they provided us that uh, they detected a malicious entity by our system and unfortunately we cannot uh, re-enable that and they're regarding the domain they also you know this was for another domain as well you know because we do test account on our account so you know 
So what we did was we looked around at the competitors which were running their ads. We did a thorough research of the competitors. I'm just giving you a few of the links, you know, and then you know we did uh, various checks on the site for the malicious software. So another interesting thing is that in case if your website is uh, do not have any issues and you got them solved, and even your ads still can be disapproved because Google also need to do the latest scan on their account to figure out if there are any issues on your website. So that is another important very thing. Uh, I mean that is another important thing uh, that Google also needs to uh, rescan, and we have to request them as well. But the issue was still over there, and because you can see over here that this was uh, something you know we got it, and uh, you, uh, you guys can uh, look around over it as well. That the ad was suspended for malicious software, circumventing system, and compromised site. Now, so because you know uh, we were uh, sorting out compromised site and we were sorting out. A malicious software then the circumventing system also appeared so instead of uh, improving you know it uh, went further bad and you know everyone was in a sad scenario that what is happening in the client was also losing patience over here but i'm glad i do like the client patience over here because he was very supportive to us so you know then we also did uh, because we are a Google partner company, we did a further discussion with Google as well and you know this was like, uh, I am now telling you that back in 21 November, today is 12 December, so you know it took us a little while, I mean you know there still was an issue over here. So then you know uh, we discussed with the real uh, account customer ID as well, so you can see the ID over here as well and you can match it as well. So upon investigation I found that the uh, ads driving to the sites were correctly disabled you know they uh, said that the correctly disabled for due to a compromised landing page and they also figured out the issues and they also provided us with a link as well and now you know another very interesting part was that the client was not using any cpanel or hosting panel but rather using sftp you know we did, figured working with ftps but sftp was something new to us so it took us a little while on that as well because my developer had to do the work and then we removed the links, we discussed with the Google, we also sent several emails, you know, even we are a Google partner still, we had to work around and, you know, uh, uh, for a consistency, a good follow-up was required and then, you know, the malicious software was solved. So, we were a moment of relief over here that we at least got one thing solved. Now, you know, compromised sites, circumventing system were over there, but, you know, we were able to get the malicious software solved and then, you know, there was a time. Uh, that uh, Google said to us that we can confirm that the latest scan on the domain came back clean and domain is free from malvertising violation. So that was another, you know, a moment of relief to us that the, uh, we recommend re-uploading the ads for faster processing and, you know, uh, we created another ad as well and that was a moment, you know, when the ad was finally approved. Uh, also, you know, the ad is still limited to a specific audience. But finally, it was eligible and I'm going to show you as well over here that uh, <coughs> this is an account and you can see that the account ads finally policy review ads approved and I can show you as well. Also, the client is not running any money, but I can show you as well from over here regarding the policy manager. I'm going to show you the policy issues, you know our past appeal history so you guys have an idea that uh, you know the reviews were failed reviews were failed and you know they were all failed so what we did was you know we did a discuss with the google team and got it manually approved for uh, these uh, issues as i told you in the emails as well so in case if i show you the ad i just have to move to the ad and uh, yeah it's over here i can show you all ads over here I mean, look around on the campaign. This is uh, um, okay. Sorry, let me move back. This was another okay. This was in the test campaign, probably. You know, when we got it approved. Okay, uh, apologies for this. Now, you know, it's always the teamwork. So, this is a video ad. And you can see it over here like that this is enabled and you can see over here that uh, because the campaign is post which is why it's showing not eligible but you know it's running a uh, uh, it's fine I can show you over here as well that I can run it you know whenever I wanted to run 
you can see over here that the ad may run to a limited audience but in case if I show you more details that you can see that there is no more compromise side, there is no more circumventing system, there is no more uh, malicious software over here. Now, you know, still you can run it with the limited audience to YouTube ad requirements, but you know, uh, uh, you can still appeal for that as well. But you know, they, the client did not uh, ask us to do this, which is why, you know, we didn't done anything further. But I'm going to show you that the account is not suspended and the campaigns are currently posed at the moment. You can see the test campaign. This is the campaign over here. And in case if I move you, this, which is why, you know, you can see over here that this is eligible. You can see now you can run. You can see everything is completed and sorted out. You can see that the ad is legible and you can run it. So that is a moment of relief for us. And now in case if you need uh, services, uh, I, I'm, I, I, I'm just want to show you guys here. You can see eligible, limited, everything. Okay, cool. Okay, fine. Another successful case study over here. Again, it's a team effort. It's uh, I'm not the only one doing it. I was uh, uh, definitely at the front end as a communication, but it's always a team effort, and I like to praise my team. You know, which consistently worked hard to get it uh, reapproved and get it run for our clients. So I like to appreciate my team for this. And in case if you need uh, services for uh, uh, if your account is uh, being suspended or if your ads are being disapproved or in case if you need help in Google Ads, Facebook Ads, SEO audit or even in case if you need help in uh, landing pages development, campaign setups, me and my team can help you. All you have to do is to click on the link in the description and work with us and we're going to make you, we're going to help you to make you uh, run an amazing campaign. And in case if you like this video, make sure to like, share and in case if you have any questions left, do comment in the video and I will be happy to answer only if you comment in the video. And lastly, guys, in case if you like this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I create a new video, you guys get a notification regarding this. So I'm going to end this video. I hope you like this case study. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.